Hi guys, uh, just a short setup video to show you this uh, Atom Constellation 20 rack setup. It's super compact and has like 10 channels of fibers, recording, streaming, converters, uh, Ethernet, router, switch, everything you need in a very simple like lightweight rack. So it's quite ideal for like conferences that you want to stream or like webinars, small to medium sized gigs. It's actually kind of an Atom Mini Extreme Plus Plus because the problem of the Atom Mini Extreme is that uh, you need plenty of converters and stuff and to, to actually make it work. So this has everything built in. So it's a big Atom Mini Extreme. So let's take a tour now. The first thing here, HyperDeck uh, HD for playback or recording, quite nice. We can have ProRes H.264, WebPresenter HD, uh, it can be used as like a webcam for Zoom or Teams or can stream to YouTube or Restream, etc. So we have quite a few web presenters, but it's quite picky about the Ethernet connections and we tend to complement it with something else. So at the moment we're uh, having quite nice results with the LiveView Solo Pro. Uh, which is like a bonding system with 4G, etc. I'll talk about it in a later video when I have more to say about it and more field experience with it, but it's a very nice device. Now, most important, the Atom. So here it's a 2ME Constellation HD, 20 inputs, 12 outputs. It's a really, really nice switcher. Uh, it has like a super source. It does conversion on all the inputs, a webcam USB out, so you can send it to a second uh, Zoom or Teams. 20 inputs, 12 outputs and such a small rack, it's pretty nice. Also, it's super important for us that it has this talkback feature uh, because then we can connect it to uh, the, our intercom system like the C1 Pro uh, from Holyland and we can ha like uh, merge the wireless system from Holyland with the Blackmagic talkback system uh, on the Blackmagic cameras. So it's a really important feature for us. Now, what's very unique about this rack is that it has 10 video inputs and 10 video outputs over fiber and that little form factor. So it uses the products that we make here, the Fiber Dispatch uh, 5 that has like five uh, fiber connections. And on each fiber connection, you have video in, video out. So you can have like an Ursa broadcast and uh, have the video signal that comes in. And then we can send the program to the camera with the tally, the intercom, the camera control, etc. Uh, so we have five of these and uh, the lower part here is what we call uh, the Unite 5. So it's kind of the same thing as uh, the block here, but it merges all of the five different fibers in just one cable. So with this system, which can go up to 4K, um, you have just one cable from there to there and then on the stage, uh, you can connect all the cameras or projectors, return monitors, whatever. And it also has an LAN connection at the back. So basically you have uh, five ins, five outs and the Ethernet LAN connection in one cable. And then if you're wondering how do we convert the fibers here to the cameras, well, we have uh, here, if we take, for example, on our side broadcast, uh, we put here a camera box, fiber camera box that goes like this and then here, we have like the SDI in and outs uh, that can go to the, uh, the camera here. And then on this side here, we have the fiber connection for the cable that just connects here to there. Since it is fiber, it can be 50 meters, but it can also be 600 meter or two kilometers if you need. So that's it for the front. Now let's move to the back side here. As you can see on the back, there is no patch panel. The reason for that is uh, to leave loads of uh, space and air for cooling. The first reason is that, yeah, there's loads of equipment inside. It's a very small rack. So uh, the only cooling is basically this one new AC Infinity uh, six fan system that is uh, quite powerful, but it's the only thing there is. And also uh, for easy access to all of the SDI of the HyperDex, WebPresenter, Atom and Fiber, etc. Usually patch panels are very nice, uh, but the 4U system is too small, I think. At the bottom here, we've put a few HDMI converters here um, for like a few inputs and the multi-view because the multi-view, we always use uh, HDMI monitors. Outputs too, router here, GLINet, super reliable, super fast router. Uh, then here, uh, the switch with uh, many ethernet ports. And then inside, you have all of the SDI in and outs uh, for the fiber racks and also the, the web presenter and Atom 
um, uh, inputs and outputs. So this is it for the tour of this 4U 2ME uh, rack setup. Um, I hope you liked it. If you want to know more about the fiber products that I mentioned, you can check our website or our video about the fiber. And yeah, let us know if you want uh, more videos like this showing the setup. If you have any suggestions on how this could be improved or if you have like ideas for things that you would like us to cover, feel free to let us know in the comments and thanks for watching and bye.